statements as insults. And, oh, so we're back and, to everything is an attack on you. This. Remember when you thought that my ads were an attack on you? So now someone, so, so you thought my ads were an attack on you. Now this homosexual thing, um, y you, you, you've made plenty of offensive comments about homosexuals, which they could and plenty have interpreted as attacks by you. And so when someone asks you about them, how is that an attack on you? They said, well, it's, you know, and that's and that where you just read about it. They call me bigoted. That's because you are bigoted. You well, want, I am not bigoted. You hate homosexuals. How many, how many I times? Have, actually, I have, actually, I have, actually, thanks to Jack Daddy, I recently, I have, I actually see them in a more positive light. Is that but the same Jack Daddy that is an evil uh, villain that, that does underhanded deals for ad space? What? Well, you kind of flip flop a lot. Um, no, forget what I said. Um, uh, well, with but, information, though, specifically, Jack Dyer just told me about uh, homosexuals, uh, about uh, homosexuals from his point of view, and mm -hmm. how that they would never, they would never make any actions towards me because I'm not even I'm not even uh, that attractive to him. You know, Chris, because he's you know, a homosexual. Uh huh. You know, um, I've actually been hit on. I've been hit on by homosexuals once in a while. It happens to me in my life. Okay. It's I. I never got ticked off by it. I never saw it as offensive. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm not gay, so I wouldn't really be interested. But if if someone, man or woman, thinks I'm attractive, then you know, well, it's flattering, even if I'm not interested. Why would you think it's an attack if a gay person finds you attractive? I take it as a compliment that people think I'm attractive. Hmm. Well, yeah, well, still, I mean, if I was homo okay, well, if a homosexual came up to me and flirted with me like that, mm -hmm. I'll let them know. No, no, I'll let them know that. No, that I'm you're sorry, not interested. I'm not, I'm and yeah, I cannot accept your. I cannot accept that because I'm not interested. I am straight. Okay, well, that's. And then leave it at that. That's a, yeah. They, that sounds like a good. Then if good then if the and then, and then if the guy continues to continue on like that after the warning, then I would get really mad. Well, that's understandable, and you know what? That happens not just with gay people. I mean, straight people. You know, plenty of straight people have trouble getting the hint. I mean, you know, guys all the time, there are guys who, you know, hit on a girl and she says, no, thank you, I'm not interested, and they just keep pressing the point, you know, overstepping their boundaries, trying to hold their hands, things like that. That is, you know, in a situation like that, it's perfectly acceptable to get offended if they don't respect, or, you know, if they don't respect your um, your decline, your yeah. negative response. You see. Um, but I. When when did you talk to Jack about this um, this homosexual thing? When did you have that conversation? It was about. It was like over. It was like over a week ago. When did you answer um, Mailbag Fifty Two? Pretty sure it was less than a week ago, wasn't it? I, because if your issues with homosexuals are resolved now, then why couldn't you, you know, offer a simple response to that? Okay, here's what you could have said. Um, uh, you know, you, well, just just to be clear, do you still want a vaccine for homosexuals? Uh, I'm sorry, I did not understand. I did not understand that. Could you repeat that, please? Um, do you? wants to create a vaccine to eliminate homosexuality. Mm. Do you understand I'll, that? Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, I understood that. So, yeah, you're asking me that right now. Or yes. you or you just let me know, okay. No, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm asking you right now. Okay. 
an attempt to make a fair wood, fair world, I would support it. I would support that. Okay, that. so when you said that um, you don't have problems with gays anymore, that wasn't actually true. Chris? Well, like I said, I'm not gay, but I have I have a number of gay friends, um, a few family members that are gay, um, and that's part of who they are. That's part of their identity. Why would you want to take that away from them? What 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 about removing homosexuality would make the world a better place? Shouldn't be that hard, Chris, because you you already um, established a predicate that no gays equals world is a better place. So, having said that, that must mean that you do have an idea of how the two things are connected. Uh, what two things? Chris, do you, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Chris, you said... Yep. You said no gays equals a world is a better place. That no gays is point one. That connects to world is better. Uh, okay. Point two. How do those okay. connect? Okay. What is? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Now I get. It. I mean, it's just a you know. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting an incoming call right now, and uh, it, well, it's like you should probably ignore. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it's so like please, it's hard to know because it's like it cancels, it cancels your it cancels your vocal input out at this at that point when the. Oh okay. Well, did you? Yeah. yeah um, did you did you hear my point though? Please explain how no gays equals world better. Yeah. You know, okay. Well, I'm not necessarily saying. I'm not saying. That as in the reference to them as people, I'm saying that in reference and like. Well, removing removing homosexuality equals world better. Explain that. Because there would be less risk of those people going to hell. Hell. Yeah. What if they die? What do you? Oh, you you mean instead of heaven? Yeah. So you're saying gay people will go to hell. Um, so are you you're a Christian then? If yeah. you believe that? What um like you, you know, I it, it's been a while since I've uh, read a Bible. Where in the Bible is that that whole gays go to hell thing? It's implied within parts of the Bible. Well, I I Understandably, it's implied in parts of the Bible. I'm asking where. I'm not a Christian, so I don't have to read the Bible. But you're a Christian. When's the last time you read the Bible? Yeah, I have read the Bible. But you're sitting here judging the... people based off their sexuality without even knowing, like you know, what parts of the Bible. Hey, hey, hey. Um, you know what else the Bible condemns? Black magic. So? How many times have you tried to curse people? Uh, Cursing is black magic. Curse ye ha me ha. Yeah, I get it. I get, I get what you're saying right now. So you're going to hell, right? Uh, well, I'm making a, I'm making a tons for that. Uh, are you really? Yeah. Well, he, I asked you to give Mao a forgiveness blessing, and that was the most lackluster one I've ever seen you do. Do you believe that black magic uh, works, Chris? There's a, there's a chance that it can, but... Um, not if you're Christian, because the Christian God says that all magic and supernatural stuff that doesn't come from God is false. Mm. Yeah, I, that's, that's, I have no that's, comment to that. Okay, well, um, 